Hello, and welcome to tonight's episode of Windstuff. I'm your announcer, Hunter Purvis, and for tonight's episode, we have the wonderful group of people from the Colonnades Magazine, which I'm told has been in existence since the 1920s. Um, but let's cut to our wonderful host for this evening, Emily Herring. How are you doing, Emily? I'm doing great. How are you doing? I am doing wonderfully. I have to say, this is this. I really feel like this is going to be a great show. I see you found your long lost relative here, Liz. One of our contestants has the same last name as Hunter. I know. I've I've literally never met anyone else with the last name Purvis. So Liz, Liz is you know Liz, Elizabeth Purvis. I'm Hunter Purvis. And actually, interestingly enough, my sister is named Elizabeth, which is you know even more kind of coincidental. So, what a small awesome. world. But, cool. All right, well, I'm probably going to head out. <laughs> no, you can leave. I, I'm going to leave. I'll see you guys in round two, okay? So don't forget about me. Don't forget about me. We won't. But good luck to you guys. Have fun. We will. All right, hey, guys, how you doing? Good. Doing good. good. Yeah. How are we doing? Doing good. well. <laughs> okay, there we go. There's our excitement. So this is really cool. This is a really cool show. I'm going to explain a little bit how it works. But first, we got to introduce our contestants. So first, we mentioned her a little bit. We've got Liz. How are you, Liz? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. Are you excited for the show? Completely. How confident are you in your pop culture knowledge? Not at all. Not at all? <laughs> See, it's always people who say that that end up completely tearing everybody else away. <laughs> it's going to be you. And it's always the person who's standing next to me. It's a, we have like a mind game going on. All right, so our next contestant, however, is David. And you were telling me before you're very competitive. Yeah, super competitive. Super competitive. Yeah. Did you, did you brush up for this? Did you study up a little bit? No, I don't study for anything. You don't study for anything? It comes naturally? It just, yeah. Well, that's a skill. That's important. We'll I see guess. how that goes for you. And our last contestant is Autumn. How are you, Autumn? I'm good. Good. Are you excited for the show? I'm so excited. you so excited? Yeah. Not nervous? A little nervous. You don't need to be nervous. <laughs> I'm nervous, too. I'm nervous every time. But it turns out fine. I make a fool out of myself, and that makes you guys seem super cool. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and start the show. I'm going to explain it to you. So the way this first round works, it's just simple trivia questions. I am going to give, usually it's the person who answers the last question correctly, but for the first round, I'm just going to pick somebody to choose from three categories. They're kind of like Jeopardy, and they're like kind of punny, kind of silly. You'll pick one of the three categories. I'll read the question, and then all of you can buzz in with your little buzzers there. You can answer the question. So we'll go ahead and jump in. Let's start with Liz. Would you like shine bright, shine far, wrong direction, or home is where the yogurt is? Let's do home is where the yogurt is. That is a very intriguing category. <laughs> All right, here we go. Oikos, the yogurt company, just released a commercial starring Dave Coulier, Bob Saget, and John Stamos, AKA the three leading men of what TV show? Autumn. Full House? It is Full House. The first point of the board goes to Autumn. How does it feel? Feels really good. <laughs> it feels great. It's very satisfying, <laughs> isn't it? Well, on that lead, we're gonna go for the next question. Would you like? Shine bright, shine far, wrong direction, or started from the bottom? I think I'm going to have to go with wrong direction. OK. Some of these you can kind of tell what the answer is going to be. But hold up. This One Direction member has recently experienced backlash after tweeting support to Duck Dynasty for their family values. Liz. Harry Styles? That is a good guess, but no. There's only five guesses, so we can go through them all. <laughs> Who knows the guesses? Autumn. Zane. That's another one, but not the <laughs> correct one. Three more. You only got three more. I don't know any of the <laughs> names. Oh, I, I, <laughs> See, I, I literally just watched the One Direction movie, so I have them all in my head. It's Liam. Do you guys remember Liam? He's the tall one. I guess they're all kind of the same height. Okay, so we'll move on from that before I start spouting one direction trivia. We'll give this one to David. Would you like shine bright, shine far, something wicked this way comes, or started from the bottom? Um, I guess we'll do the first one. Shine yes. bright, shine far. Yeah. Something sparkly. Okay, Tyra Banks recently announced that the second installment of what Disney Channel original movie is in the works? Autumn. Life size. Yes, and I'm so excited for this is my favorite movie when I was little. Have you guys seen Life Size? Way yeah, back in like the day. Back, yeah, oh, we did probably magical. Like, Tyra Banks yeah. should be a famous actress. All right, Autumn. <laughs> congratulations. I guess she is kind of famous already. That's embarrassing. Yeah, she's got other stuff. Autumn, would you like? Ain't nobody messing with my dick. <laughs> 
something wicked this way comes, or started from the bottom. Start it from the bottom. Okay. This Canadian rapper and actor recently appeared on SNL as both the host and musical guest, reenacting his bar mitzvah for a sketch. David. That was Drake. I it think. was Drake. Yeah. Started from the bottom. All right, David, you get the next one. Would you like Ain't Nobody Messing With My Click, Something Wicked This Way Comes, or Juanuary? <laughs> um, we'll do Something Wicked This Way Comes. Oh, I thought for sure you were going to pick Juanuary. Yeah. Okay, Something Wicked This Way Comes. This Call Me Maybe singer is set to star as Cinderella on Broadway. David. Was that Carly Rae Jepsen? It is Carly. Right. I saw you look at your. I was like, <laughs> is nobody going to touch <laughs> is that? that gonna be me? I guess I it's going to be me. I think we're being a little too nice. I think we're just. <laughs> I think oh, you no, just really don't know one. how much I don't know. Okay, yeah. <laughs> By the end of this, you're going to be jumping on those buttons. Yeah, I didn't know if we were supposed to, like. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you buzz in whenever, whenever okay. you know the answer. Don't worry okay. about it, everybody. I'm going to get, yeah, I'm going to be a lot quicker now. <laughs> so every man for himself. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, you could be nice. That's, I guess, yeah, the right thing to tell you. <laughs> Encouraging bad moral behavior. I'll, like, I'll give Liz like five seconds before I buzz in. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> okay, David, here's your chance. Would you like? Ain't nobody messing with my click. This place about to blow, or January. Um, wow. Um, I guess we'll have to do January. Thank you. Seems like the right What is the name of this season's Bachelor? David. It's probably Juan. It is Juan. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, do you know that by heart? Because <laughs> full name is Juan Ooh. Pablo Galavis, oh. but I will give you a point because okay. you did get it correctly. Excellent. And now you're in the lead. You have three points. Awesome. There you go. Okay, Sorry. so you get to pick the next one as well. Would you like Ain't Nobody Messing With My Click, This Place About To Blow, or Anne and Chris? Um... Anne and Chris. Okay. On January 30th, Parks and Recreation says goodbye to Anne Perkins and Chris Traeger, who are pra played by which two actors? David. Um, Rashida Jones and Rob Lowe. Whoa. You knew that. That was really good. Bad. Do you watch Parks and Recreation? Yeah, I do. Awesome. Well, you are really tearing this away. Look at you. You got four points. Nice. And you get the chance to pick the next um, category. Would yeah. you like? Ain't nobody messing with my foot. He's so modest. Look at him. Like, oh, stop. He's like, I don't know anything for this. Lies. No, I didn't study. <laughs> See, he, he studied. You know he studied. All right, you got to pick. Okay. Ain't nobody messing with my clit. I can do, this, I can do the first one. You want to do we'll that do one? Uh, yeah, I don't know what that means. but It's a, it's a long just, one. I'm getting tired of saying it, so okay. thank you. The filming for what TV series turned movie started this week starring Adrian Grenier? Autumn. Entourage. It is Entourage. <laughs> All right, Autumn's about to catch you, David. Be careful. <laughs> and Liz, don't worry. Don't worry. It's going to be okay. She'll you're going to your, <laughs> find your niche, and then you're just going to blow it away. All right, so oh, Autumn. Oh, I'm getting used to saying David. Yeah. That's embarrassing. <laughs> Autumn, would you like stuck between a rock and a car place, this place about to blow, or Magna Carta Holy Grail? Uh, this place about to blow. Okay, what pop singing sensation recently checked herself into rehab to deal with her eating disorder? Liz. Kesha. It is Kesha. <laughs> Liz, you have your first point. Yeah. How do you feel? I'm glad it doesn't say zero anymore, because I guess that it did earlier. It did, and now it says one, which is better than zero. Which right. is better than zero. And you get to pick our last question for this round. Would you like stuck between a rock and a car place, the perfect place, or Magna Carta Holy Grail? Magna Carta, holy girl. Okay, this Hollywood power couple is set to perform together at the Grammy Awards this year. Autumn. Beyonce and Jay-Z. That is correct. I thought it was going to be Jay-Z and Kanye West, but it is. <laughs> they're not as good of a power couple as Beyonce and Jay-Z. But that is the end of this round. We will be right back after these commercials. Stick with us. Looking for these? You drive buzzed. It could be one very expensive ride. First, you gotta make bail. Then pay me to get your car back. Your insurance premiums will go through the roof. And my legal fees just keep adding up. All told, it could end up costing you $10,000. Buzzed, busted, and broke. Because buzz driving is drunk driving. Now, come on. Oh, come on. I know, two seconds. Hang on, just stand still. Stand still. Okay. Boys, hang on, boys! 
You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. There are thousands of children in foster care who will take you just as you are. Welcome back to Win Stuff. We're here with Colonnades Literary Magazine. And how are you guys feeling so far? Feeling, feeling pretty good. You're feeling good? We've yeah. got David and Autumn with four points each. And Liz is going to take it away this round. She's only got one, but I believe in you. There's plenty of show left. Don't worry. We're going to jump right in. I'm going to let Liz pick the next category. This round is exactly like the one that we just did. No changes here. But Liz, would you like Stuck Between a Rock and a Car Place, The Perfect Place, or Mustache of Sadness. Mustache of Sadness. That is what I would have chosen as well. Here we go. This British show starring Benedict Cumberbatch and Martin Freeman recently aired its third season. Liz. Sherlock. And I knew you were going to pull it away this round. <laughs> Come on, give me another one. Would you like Stuck Between a Rock and a, car, and a Car Place, The Perfect Place, or Freshman Victory? Let's do the first one. Stuck Between a Rock and a Car Place. See, I told you they were punny. This actor, known for both his WWE career and the Fast and the Furious series, recently bought his housekeeper a new SUV. Autumn. The Rock. It is The Rock, and I have just now decided that I am quitting college <laughs> and going to be a housekeeper for the stars of Hollywood. <laughs> That's a good future plan, isn't it? <laughs> okay, Autumn, what do you like? Front page Jews. <laughs> Just gonna let that sit for a minute. <laughs> <laughs> the perfect place or fucking victory? The perfect place. Okay, you don't want the juice. <laughs> All right, the perfect place. This rapper engaged to Kim Kardashian allegedly beat up an 18 year old in a chiropractor's office. Autumn. Kanye West. It is Kanye West, and I have changed my mind. I am not going to Hollywood ever. <laughs> if Kanye West is there to beat me up, I would be terrified. But Autumn, you are now in the lead. You've got six Ooh. points. Paula, okay, would you like front page juice, in a hashtag inappropriate, oh, these are just getting better, or freshman victory? Hashtag inappropriate. Okay. <laughs> what 55-year-old singer has recently been scrutinized for using the N-word in a hashtag on an Instagram picture of her son? Autumn. Madonna. It is Madonna. That's embarrassing for Madonna. Why would you say that about your son on Instagram? But Autumn's killing it. She's got seven points. You ready to pick the next one? I'm ready. All right. Would you like front page Jews, pop stop, or freshman victory? Let's go with front page Jews. We'll see what this is about. <laughs> this Holes and Transformers actor has recently been in the tabloids after getting into drunken brawls with strangers. Liz. Shia LaBeouf. It is Shia LaBeouf. And to think, once they said he was one of the Disney stars that did not go crazy. And now here he is getting a drum and brawl. <coughs> All right, well, Liz, you're pulling it back. You're almost up with David. You've got three points. He's only got four. Wait, wait this is where it happen? ends. <laughs> I'm telling you. All right, Liz, would you like something wicked this way comes? Ooh. Pop stop. Well, I guess we're repeating <laughs> this time. Pop stop or freshman victory? Let's do freshman victory. Okay, this new comedy series set in New York recently won the Golden Globe for best comedy series. David. It's Brooklyn Nine-Nine. It is Brooklyn Nine-Nine. All right, now he's getting closer. Get but this is the end of this round. We're going to be back with Hunter for the next round, and it's double points, so the tension's going to be even higher. Get excited. We'll be right back. When you throw away money on wasted electricity, you're throwing away everything you could have bought with it. Saving energy saves you money. If you drive buzzed, it could cost you around $10,000. You'll face major legal fees, major fines, and steep insurance penalties. 
you could lose everything. Buzzed, busted, and broke. Because buzz driving is drunk driving. <laughs> So, same time next week? Well, of course. to the right temperature using a food thermometer. 3,000 Americans will die from food poisoning this year. Keep your family safer. Check your steps at foodsafety.gov. Hello, and welcome back to Win Stuff. I'm Hunter Purvis, and I'm going to be hosting for this second round. Liz, you have three points. David, you have five. And Autumn, you have seven. So we've kind of got, you know, going up the board there. Do you guys feel confident about this round? Yeah. All right. <laughs> it's it's going to be double points this round. So each time you get a question right, you're going to get two points. And also, the question format has changed a little bit. Now we're going to have two different kinds of categories. One is how much do you know, just kind of general knowledge about things. And sometimes we'll have graphics that come up on here, and you'll have to answer based on what that graphic is. And the other is one-liners. I'll give you one line from a show or a movie or um, a song, and you'll have to tell me who made that song or, or what movie it is or what song it is. Okay. All right. Are you guys ready to go? I'm going to start with David, because you're in the middle, and you've got in, in points and you know between the two girls. Which would you like? How much do you know, or one-liners? Um, I guess we'll do one-liners. One-liners? All right, good. here we go. Is butter a carb? All right, That's David. from Mean Girls. That is from Mean Girls. All right, there's two points to David. David, you are now tied with Autumn. See how fast this kind of stuff happens? All right, um, David, now would you like one-liners, or how much do you know? Um, I'll do how much do you know. All right, for the first, how much do you know? Um, what film festival is currently taking place in Park City, Utah? David. Sundance. Sundance, that is correct. All right, David moves up to nine points. Girls, you really got to, come on, catch him. <laughs> got to get after him. All right, so David, again, would you like one-liners, or how much do you know? Let's do one-liners. Uh -huh. yeah, so we'll switch back and forth. This is awesome. Yeah. All right, this one is, as you wish. Liz. The Princess Bride. The Princess Bride, that is correct. All right, Liz moves up to five points. It's getting neck and neck. This is serious. Um, Liz, would you like one-liners, or how much do you know? Let's do the one-liners. All right. If that's a veiled criticism of me, I won't hear it, and I won't respond to it. All right, David? Arrested Development. That is correct. It's Lucille from Arrested Development. All right, good job. Um, now, David, would you like one-liners, or how much do you know? Um, let's keep doing one-liners. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you guys seem to really be getting those. All right. This one is, Ohana means family. Family means nobody gets left behind. Autumn. Lilo and Stitch. Lilo and Stitch. That's correct. <laughs> that one was awesome. Oh, I love that movie. So amazing. Especially in the beginning when it's a spaceship. I'm, just a, I'm a personal fan. Um, Autumn, would you like one-liners, or how much do you know? Let's change it up. How much do you know? Oh, okay. For the second, how much do you know? Name this famous voice actor known for his role in Archer and Bob's Burgers. Um. Oh, well, the picture's right there. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Impressive. You didn't even name the picture. All right, what? Um, H. John Benjamin. That's correct. Oh. H. John Benjamin is the correct answer. All right, David moves up to Show off. 15 sorry. points now or 13? It's impressive. He's really know. pulling away from you guys. That's you you got to nice. step it up or else he's, he's going to win it. Um, David, would you like how much do you know or one-liners? Um. We'll do one-liners again. One yeah, All right. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> this is a good one. I'm not a smart man, but I know what love is. Autumn. Forrest Gump. Forrest Gump. That's correct. Oh, that's such a famous quote. That's such an amazing moment. Makes me cry every time just thinking about it. I'm going to be honest. All right. <laughs> Autumn, would you like one-liners, or how much do you know? One-liners. One-liners. All right. I also leave this liquid nitrogen-cooled cylinder of my hyper-virile sperm in case your lesbian le lifestyle one day wears out and you wish to raise an army of geniuses. Wow, that one's the one that no one gets. Okay, good. Good. Anybody? Liz. Okay, what, what do we got? Like, friends? No. <laughs> it's not friends. Anybody <laughs> thinking anything? <laughs> It's, it's a show similar in some ways to Friends in that it's a group of people who are friends. 
I don't know. You don't know? Okay, it is from Community. It's Pierce oh. Hawthorne. It's in his will. Um, that's that's a pretty pretty <coughs> funny moment in the show. I haven't watched so much of that show. I have seen it before, but I had never heard the quote before. So I, I'm sorry that you guys had to face the brunt of that one. All right, how much do you know or one-liners? I'm going to go with Liz this time because you're at five points. One-liners. One-liners? Okay, this is our last one-liner. I shall call him Squishy, and he shall be mine. David. Um, that was, um, oh, crap. Um, <laughs> Finding Nemo. Finding Nemo, right. that is correct. Sorry. Oh, okay. right. David needs like 15 picture. points. Like, he oh, is no. quite in the lead. Autumn might be able to catch him. Liz, you got to work I, hard. I mean, you know. David, would you like how much do you know or how much do you know? You don't really have a choice. I think how much do you know. How much do you I know? I feel good about right. that one. What face is on the $100 bill? Autumn? Ben Franklin. Ben Franklin, that is correct. Okay, now we move on to the next thing of, um, uh, how much do you know? Autumn, you, your choice, or well, it's not really your choice. How much do you know? <laughs> <laughs> For this question, um, this popular teen show from 2004 is coming out with a fan-funded movie in March of 2014. There will be no graphic, by the way. Dot, 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 dot. The person um, um, raised all the money on Kickstarter in order to make the uh, show. It's kind of interesting. Anybody? Any suggestions? You said it's a teen show? It is from a teen show from 2004. We weren't even teens in 2004 yeah. yet. Wait, yeah, we were. were we? <laughs> no, we weren't. It's like teen. Well, it was it was yeah, I guess. So, all right, well, we're going to move on to the next question. Good try. Um, Autumn, or the, the, the show is Veronica Mars, which I, I actually didn't watch when yeah. I was a kid. Um, all right, and then the next question is, this is going to go to Autumn again because she got the last one right. Name this author. Liz? J.K. Rowling. J.K. Rowling. All right, that is it. And oh, no, we still have some more questions. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Apologies. You're not, out of, you're not out of the gauntlet yet. All right. Um, Liz, for this question, there's a website called the Oracle of Bacon where you can find the connection of any famous, pers famous person to this particular actor. David? Kevin Bacon. Kevin Bacon, <laughs> that is correct. OK, yeah, I didn't actually know that. That's really interesting. Um, all right, moving onwards. Um, Shakespeare was married to a woman with the same last name as this actress. This is going to David. Autumn. Anne Hathaway. All right, that is correct. All right, Autumn moves up to 15 points. Um, and I believe that, that those are all of our questions for this round. So David takes it with a very close margin of two points. So congratulations. I'm going to, you're going to move on to the final round, but Liz and Autumn, you are, I'm afraid, out for the final round, but you do receive $5 oh, gift cards you. to oh. Barnes & Noble, so there you go. Thank you. And you guys can go together, stuff. get whatever you'd like, Yay. and just enjoy your time. But David, you'll meet with Emily in the final round. Okay. Thanks very much. Look under your bed. Find stuff under there? What about jobs? No? Now try your closet. Still no jobs, just more stuff? Well, you really have both. See, stuff is defined as household articles considered as a group. Sometimes this stuff is no longer needed. Wait, no longer needed? That can't be right. Because remember those jobs you were looking for? Those are really needed. And they're the stuff inside your stuff. Our job is to unlock those jobs. And it starts when you donate your stuff to your local Goodwill. Here's how we do it. When you donate to Goodwill, we sell your stuff to provide job training for people right here in your community. So just by teaming up with Goodwill, you help create jobs. And isn't that worth parting with the leftover keytar from your 80s cover band? Goodwill. Donate stuff. Create jobs. To win stuff. I'm here with our final round winner. I'm here with David. How are you feeling, David? Feeling all right. You're the champion so far. How I do you guess. think you're going to do in this final round? I don't know. I'm nervous. I feel like <laughs> you're going to be just fine. So the way this final round works, it's a bunch of this or that kind of yes or no questions. It's going to start off with Beatles or Rolling Stones, and you've got to answer 15 right in 60 seconds. <coughs> so the clock is going to start when I ask the first question. Are you ready? Yep. All right. Give me shelter. Rolling Stones. Satisfaction. Rolling Stones. Fool on the Hill. Um, ooh, Rolling Stones. No, <laughs> oh, miss shit, you. Um, Beatles. Nope. Oh. Nowhere Man. <laughs> Beatles. Twist and Shout. Beatles. Paint It Black. Rolling Stones. Your Mother Should Know. Um, Beatles. Start Me Up. Rolling Stones. A Taste of Honey. 
Um, Rolling Stones? That's yeah. the Beatles. Yeah. Yeah. All right, Netflix, Netflix produced show or not? House of Cards. Uh, yes. Arrested Development. Yes and no. Parks and Recreation. No. Orange is the New Black. Yes. Revenge. No. Breaking Bad. No. The Walking Dead. No. Hemlock Grove. Black. Yes. And you've won. All right. See, it goes quick. I told you. <laughs> Great. Well, that's awesome. Congratulations. Thank you. You did very well. For the final prize, you get a $5 gift card to Arsenal, but also a $5 gift card to Starbucks, Great. which conveniently is located inside Barnes & Noble. You can so. get your awesome. latte and a book. Yeah, and it's just wonderful. Chill out. Thank you. It works out well. It does work out well. All right, so here's the fun part. We get to talk to you about the organization that you're involved in. So okay. you're in Colonnades Literary Magazine. That's right. What's your position within the organization? Um, well, I'm the editor in chief, mm -hmm. um, and our magazine is uh, it's an art and literary journal. So each year we accept submissions in poetry, uh, fiction, creative nonfiction, and any medium of art. And um, yeah, and then we put a magazine together. Basically, we pick our favorites, what we think are the strongest pieces, and. Um, yeah, and there's a book every year, and we are on our 65th issue this year. Holy cow. Wow, well, that's let's incredible. invite your fellow contestants yeah. in, talk to you Come guys, on, guys a little bit more. Um, oh, oh. <laughs> careful how, back there. How have you guys enjoyed being part of the Colonies Magazine experience? Uh, well, Colonies is a large part of the reason that I came to Elon, so I'm really excited to be managing editor this year and oh, wow. reading everything, even if it's like 200 Horrifying. pieces. Uh, so, yeah, it's really, really, really cool. Awesome. So how does one submit their work to Colonnades? Uh, you send us an email at um, colonnades at elon.edu. Okay, very yeah. cool. And what kind of work, I mean, you said you get all kinds of stuff. Is there anything you particularly look for in a piece? Uh, we're a, since we're a literary magazine, it's like, it's like art of all kinds and then literary prose and poetry, which is defined as like character driven as opposed to plot driven. So like not mm -hmm. genre fiction, not like, and the man stabbed the guy with the Go on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you got stab it with a gun. <laughs> 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 I wasn't thinking that one very well, but you know what I mean. Uh -huh. I hear what you're saying. Interesting. You know, like okay. vampires and things like that. No sparkling. No, no sparkling. No vampires. sparkling vampires. <laughs> so, was it Stephanie Meyer? We'll would, leave those. Yeah. She would not Meyer. make it oh, in the it. Colonnades magazine. Yeah. Is that the point? They need to be it? tastefully done vampires only. Tastefully okay. Done. So vampires can be in there as long as they, as long as they have the regular blood sucking. Yeah, I don't think we've had a vampire yet. Really? But you know, there, I guess there could be one. We'll get ready. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm writing it right now. <laughs> Literally, okay. I'm going you home know, and I've writing this, it. Do you have a pen? Yeah. Let's let's just start our magazine. That was a joke. That was a joke. Unless you really want one. But all right, well, where do you guys meet? Like, is there a special place on campus where you guys have? Like, I, I'm not really sure. I spend a lot of my time in like the comm building, so I'm always unsure where everyone else is going to meet. <laughs> I'm guessing you don't meet in colonnades because that would be a little bit too much. Yeah, no, <laughs> not not related to the building or the the dining hall or the housing area. Mm -hmm. um, we have different meetings right now because it's winter term. We um, meet with genre groups. So Autumn is a fiction editor, so oh, she wow. meets with all the readers who are interested in fiction. And we also have a poetry editor, an art editor, and a nonfiction editor. Okay. Um, Do you guys so, ever have big debates over a work that you really want to be in or not in the magazine? I think we, we have will. occasional mild disputes. Yeah. Mild, <laughs> mild disputes. We haven't yet, but I think it's going to happen eventually. It's probably going yeah, to happen. It's about Never to happen. gets heated. Blows are thrown. Oh, well, not, not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Yeah. The stage yeah. we're at now is like kind of loose, yeah. and probably in another month or two, it's going to mm. be tight. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you guys for coming on the show. Congratulations, yeah, David. Good work to Autumn and Liz. Now have a great day. Thanks for watching Wednesday.